Ever since the film Jaws was produced, the Great White Shark has been unfairly judged. It's made out to be the only shark to give you nightmares, but there are plenty of others that are worth fearing. From the rare Mega Mouth Shark to the near-threatened Frilled Shark, here are 20 most rare and deadly sharks you don't want to come across. Number 20. Helicoprion The Helicoprion is a shark-like eugenodont fish that would have been absolutely terrifying to encounter in the ocean. We say would because it's now extinct, and when you see how its teeth would have been positioned, you're probably gonna breathe a sigh of relief that it no longer lurks in the dark depths of the ocean waiting for prey. Helicoprion have only been seen in fossil form, but this shark will give you nightmares. It would have had tooth whorls in its lower jaw, which were clusters of teeth arranged in a spiral. So it would have almost looked like it had a skill saw in its mouth, and that's a terrifying thought. Experts believe that the Helicoprion's unique tooth arrangement would have helped it eat soft-bodied prey while also allowing it to de-shell creatures with hard shells like ammonoids, cephalopods, and nautiloids. Even though this shark-like creature doesn't exist today, it likely would have been found in most oceans around the world if it did. Fossils have been found almost everywhere, including the United States, Canada, China, Australia, Russia, Norway, and Japan. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Sand Tiger Shark The Sand Tiger Shark, also known as the Gray Nurse Shark, Blue Nurse Sand Tiger, and Spotted Ragged Tooth Shark, is a critically endangered shark species that lives in temperate and subtropical waters around the world. They typically live in Japan, South Africa, Australia, and around the east coasts of both North and South America. Sand tiger sharks look fearsome with their pointy heads and bulky bodies, and they can swim exceptionally well, so it would be easy to assume that it's a shark to fear. And it kinda is, because you still wouldn't want to come face to face with one in the ocean. In saying that, as far as sharks go, they are considered relatively placid. They are slow moving, and there have been no confirmed human fatalities. Instead of humans, they prefer to snack on squid, bony fish, crustaceans, and other sharks. They also practice intrauterine cannibalism, which means that the most developed embryo will eat its siblings. Now that's terrifying. Sand tiger sharks are reasonably easy to spot, which is good news if you're terrified of encountering one. They grow up to around 10.5 feet or 3.2 meters in length and weigh up to 351 pounds or 159 and weigh up to 351 pounds or 159 kilograms. They also swim with their mouths open, revealing three rows of sharp pointed teeth. Number 18 Nurse Shark Nurse sharks sure do look terrifying. They are vulnerable elasmobranch fish that live in a wide geographical area and are well known throughout the United States, the Bahamas, South America, Central America, and the Caribbean. Nurse sharks aren't thought to be all that dangerous. They seem to have a high tolerance level for being captured, handled, and tagged, but that may give you a false sense of security and make you think that nurse sharks are basically friendly. That is certainly not the case, because you know what? They rank fourth on the list of documented shark bites. Yeah, that's right. You're more likely to get bitten by a nurse shark than most other known shark species. And seeing them coming towards you in the ocean would be absolutely terrifying. They can grow up to around 10.1 feet or 3.8 meters long and have broad heads, elongated caudal fins, rounded dorsal fins, and rounded pectoral fins. Uh, that's the scariest part for me. Fortunately for us, nurse sharks mainly eat small fish and invertebrates like crustaceans and they don't have large mouths. To eat prey that's slightly too big for them, they just shake their heads violently and use suck and spit behavior until the food size is reduced. So even though they can't eat us, they can deliver a nasty bite. And that's enough for me to say a big no thank you to close encounters with this guy.
Number 17. Greenland Shark Greenland sharks are large and vulnerable sharks that also go by the names of gurry sharks and gray sharks. They live in the Arctic and North Atlantic Oceans and have the longest known lifespan of all known vertebrate species. It's not uncommon for this terrifying looking shark to live up to 500 years. Jeez. Out of all shark species, they're also one of the largest, with most growing up to about 21 feet long, or 6.4 meters, and weighing up to 2,200 pounds, or 1,000 kilograms. There have even been some spotted measuring up to 24 feet, and if encountering a shark like that doesn't give you nightmares, I don't know what will. Greenland sharks are apex predators and eat fish. They have also been known to hunt seals and will also eat smaller sharks. Surprisingly, some Greenland sharks have also been found with reindeer, moose, and polar bears in their stomachs, so they actually aren't all that fussy about what becomes their meal. To eat, they use their 48 to 52 thin and pointed teeth to cut chunks out of their prey. Their upper jaws work as an anchor, and they use their lower jaws to cut. It almost looks like a type of rolling motion. They also have broad and square teeth, smooth outward pointing cusps, and teeth in two halves to give them as many options as possible while eating prey. Number 16. Mega Mouth Shark While not rare, the Mega Mouth Shark is definitely a shark that has the potential to give you nightmares. They are deep water sharks that most humans will never see, and they can grow up to 18 feet or 5.49 meters long, so they aren't exactly small. Mega Mouth Sharks can be found in many parts of the world, like the United States and Japan, and at depths of up to 3,280 feet or 1,000 meters. They range in color from dark blue to gray and browny black, and typically have white fins and a white band around their jaw. As you've probably guessed from their name, they have huge mouths, but fortunately, a large mouth doesn't mean large teeth. They're sometimes mistaken for orcas because they have quite small teeth positioned in their big mouths. Their mouths are pretty much one of their most exciting features, especially when you see the inside of their upper lips. They are a striking, silvery white color that's visible when they open their mouths. Some experts believe this reflective band may act as a lure for plankton, while others think it helps them identify other mega mouth sharks. However, no theories have yet been proven. As you can imagine, because they live at such great depths, very few people have ever seen them. There have only ever been 99 mega mouth captures and sightings, which means there's still so much we need to learn about them. Number 15. Bull Shark Bull sharks are vulnerable requiem sharks, also known as Lake Nicaragua shark and Zambezi shark, that are found throughout the world. They live in warm, shallow rivers and are known for being aggressive. This isn't great news when you think about where they live. They can live in freshwater and saltwater and prefer coasts, rivers, and estuaries. Basically, the same places humans also like to be. Perhaps unsurprisingly, large bull sharks are thought to be responsible for the majority of near-shore shark attacks. They're also not afraid to bite other species. These sharks are large, stout, and grow up to about 7.9 feet or 2.4 meters long. They generally weigh up to around 290 pounds or 130 kilograms. These sharks are also known to be both heavier and broader than other requiem sharks and have such an incredible bite force that it's the highest among all tested cartilaginous fish by weight. And as you can imagine, that's not good news for us when you know just how aggressive bull sharks can be. Along with the great white shark and tiger shark, they are among the most likely to bite humans and are incredibly territorial. And what shark do you think inspired the novel Jaws that later became a movie? It actually wasn't the great white shark, it was thought to be a bull shark. Bull sharks were supposedly responsible for the Jersey Shore shark attacks of 1916. In 12 days, four people were killed and one injured. Number 14. Requiem Shark 
Requiem sharks are not so much a single shark species, but rather a family of sharks that live in warm seas. Shark species to feature under this title are the bull shark, tiger shark, black tip shark, dusky shark, black nose shark, gray reef shark, white tip reef shark, and several others. They are live-bearing migratory sharks that typically have round eyes and gill slits over their pectoral fin bases. But their general features aren't really what they're known for. Instead, they are known for being involved in the largest proportion of human attacks. However, attack records aren't overly accurate because individual species aren't always identified in all attacks. Still, when you see how they move through the water and hunt prey, you'll come to know why we do and should fear them. Their torpedo-shaped bodies make them fast swimmers, and this means it's quite easy for them to attack prey. And they're not fussy about what they eat either, as most Requiem sharks will feast on sharks, rays, bony fish, lobsters, seabirds, and pretty much anything. They even eat trash, so they are considered the garbage cans of the sea. Number 13. Hammerhead Shark one of the most unusual sharks you'll ever see or hear about is the hammerhead shark. There are nearly a dozen different sharks that fall under the category of hammerhead, and most of them range from vulnerable to critically endangered. As you can probably guess from the name, their heads are shaped like the heads of hammers. They also grow up to about 19.8 feet long and weigh up to nearly 1,300 pounds. They're light gray, often with a green tint, and have white bellies that let them blend into their backgrounds when viewed from below. Unlike most other sharks, they hang out in schools during the day with up to 100 in each. By night, they hunt alone. They mostly prey on fish and other sharks and tend to enjoy squid, crustaceans, octopuses, and stingrays. When they hunt, they swim along the bottom of the ocean and stalk their prey. They then use their head as a weapon by pinning animals down with it. This works particularly well on stingrays, as the shark will hold its head steady on the stingray until it's weak and in shock, and then will devour it. You would have seen that humans didn't feature on the list of things they like to eat, but that doesn't mean that they haven't had a taste to find out. There have been at least 17 unprovoked attacks documented since 1580, but no human fatalities. Number 12. Goblin Shark when I saw a picture of a goblin shark for the first time, I thought I was going to die from fright. This deep sea shark isn't going to win any beauty contest awards, that's for sure. Goblin sharks are often called living fossils, and they come from a lineage that's around 125 million years old. They have pink skin, flat snouts, protrusible jaws, and nail-like teeth. They also have flabby bodies and small fins, so they are probably quite sluggish in the water. When they're mature, goblin sharks can grow up to about 13 feet or 4 meters long. But one was once caught that measured 20 feet long, so who really knows? They live at depths of up to 330 feet, but researchers believe that they can dive much deeper than that for short periods. These sharks are rare, but they are classed as least concerned by the International Union for Conservation of Nature. And this is because they have a wide distribution and their capture rates are low. Goblin sharks look like they could do us a lot of harm, mainly because of their looks. For obvious reasons, one researcher in 1910 even wrote, the new shark is certainly grotesque. But they are known to be a threat to us due to how deep in the ocean they live. There haven't been any known attacks. Number 11, Frilled Shark. Prilled sharks, sometimes called living fossils, are sharks that are, in a word, unusual. They are dark brown in color, measure 6.6 .6 feet or 2 meters long, and have eel-like features. Their dorsal, anal, and pelvic fins are positioned towards their tails, and they have six pairs of gill slits around their throats that look like frills, hence the name. There are two species of this shark in their family, known as frilled shark and southern African frilled shark. They live in the Pacific and Atlantic Oceans and tend to hang around near the ocean floor where they feast on bony fish, cephalopods, and smaller sharks. How they eat is as unique as their appearance. They practice vertical migration, which means they feed at the surface of the ocean. They move through the water like an eel and will swallow their prey whole after bending their bodies to lunge at them. 
Once their prey's in their mouth, there's no way it's getting out. Their 300 recurved teeth that look like needles make sure of that. Frilled sharks don't pose a risk to us, which is good news, but we do pose a risk to them. They're often caught up in commercial fishing nets and are then turned into meat and fish meal. They're classed as being near the threat of extinction, and in New Zealand, they're seen as at high risk and naturally uncommon. Number 10. Bamboo Shark Bamboo sharks, or long-tail carpet sharks as they're also known, are strange-looking sharks that send shivers up your spine when you look at them. They are easily identifiable by a variety of unique features. They have long snouts, subterminal nostrils, and eyes that are barely elevated. Unlike other sharks, their pectoral and pelvic fins are not muscular and are very thin. Bamboo sharks also have long cylindrical bodies with large spiracles and short barbels, but unusually long tails that look absurd against the rest of their bodies. They also only grow up to about 48 inches long. If you're going to spot bamboo sharks anywhere, it'll have to be in the shallow waters of the tropical Indo-Pacific. Here, they sluggishly move around, feeding on small fish and bottom-dwelling invertebrates. Due to their size, they're not exactly a shark you're going to be all that terrified by, and they're actually quite favored for home aquariums. They adapt better to aquariums than many other shark species, and their preferred habitats of coral beds, tide pools, and boulders are reasonably easy to replicate. However, as they can dig in their environments, they can suffer injuries, sometimes fatal ones, from tank decor. Number 9. Horn Shark Horn sharks are bullhead sharks that live in coastal waters in North America. They aren't a very large shark species, grown up to around 3.3 feet long or 1 meter, and are pretty harmless unless you harass them, which we obviously don't recommend. Horn sharks are generally gray or brown with dark spots and have short, blunt heads, high dorsal fins, and ridges over their eyes. There's not enough data to know if they're rare or not, but most people probably won't ever see one in person. These sharks are solitary, slow-moving predators that hunt at night and shelter during the day. They love to eat mollusks, crustaceans, and echinoderms and crush them in their powerful jaws consisting of strong, molar-like teeth. Seeing them in the ocean can be quite an exciting experience if you're a diver, but we don't recommend getting too close. Even though they're mostly harmless, they aren't always harmless. Horn sharks can be provoked into biting, and some will even chase you down and bite you if you harass them. Aside from their bite, their fin spines can also cause painful wounds, so maybe just view them from a safe distance to be on the safe side. Number 8. Short Fin Mako Shark it's easy to assume that the only shark you should steer clear of is the great white shark, especially after watching the film Jaws. But the shortfin mako shark, which is also referred to as the bonito shark or blue pointer, should also be given a wide berth. Shortfin mako sharks grow up to around 13 feet long and are a large mackerel shark that live in temperate and tropical seas around the world. It's fished for sport and food and is now classed as endangered in many parts of the world. Between the years 1580 and 2017, there have been nine attacks on humans, including one fatal one and almost two dozen boat attacks. They are regularly given the blame for human attacks because they are fast, powerful, and large. These features all make them more than capable of injuring and killing humans. Fortunately, they don't usually attack humans and don't see them as prey. Many of the attacks we've seen in recent years have been due to the sharks being caught in a fishing line or being harassed. So, of course, they're gonna fight for their life. Number 7. Angular Rough Shark Angular rough sharks are sharks that were first described in 1758 and had their name finally confirmed in 1976. They come from the family Oxynotidae and grow up to around 3.3 feet or less than a meter when they are fully mature, although some have been found measuring almost 5 feet as well. 
Angular Rough Sharks are incredibly unique in their looks. They have compressed bodies, broad and flattened heads, and flat and blunt snouts. Their dorsal fins are pretty large, almost looking like sails on a boat, and they don't have anal fins. That makes one of us, at least. They are also identifiable by their gray-brown coloring and dark splotches on their heads and sides. Generally, these sharks live in the eastern Atlantic, from Norway all the way through to South Africa and around the Mediterranean. They generally live on muddy bottoms of continental shelves, but are also found at depths of up to 1,970 feet, or 600 meters. They don't pose much of a risk to us because of where they live, but we definitely pose a risk to them. They're often landed by fishermen and as bycatches by deep sea fisheries, so they're considered endangered. Number 6. Black Tip Shark Black tip sharks are requiem sharks that live in coastal, tropical, subtropical waters and brackish environments around the world. They grow up to approximately 4.9 feet or 1.5 meters long and have stout bodies with pointed snouts, long gill slits, and dorsal fins without ridges in between. Black tip sharks are described as timid compared to other requiem sharks, which aren't exactly known for their manners. But that's not to say they're harmless. They're wary of humans, but when there's food around, a switch can be flipped and they can attack. They have been responsible for many attacks on people. Generally, they're curious about divers, but that doesn't mean you should approach them. Their large size, strength, and excellent swimming ability can be a recipe for disaster if a snack should suddenly arrive when you're close to one. As of 2008, there have been 28 unprovoked attacks on humans, including one fatal attack. There have also been 13 provoked attacks. In all shark attacks around Florida, black tip sharks are responsible for about 16% of them. They are now classed as vulnerable, but commercial fisheries still capture them in large numbers. Their meat is sold fresh, frozen, salted, and dried, and their fins are often used for shark fin soup. Black tip shark skin is also marketed for leather, and their liver oil is included in vitamins. Number 5. Thresher Shark Thresher sharks are lamniform sharks that live in temperate and tropical oceans worldwide. They're a popular sport fish and are also hunted for resources like their meat, livers, skin, and fins. All three known thresher shark species are now classed as vulnerable to extinction. These sharks may be pretty large at lengths of up to 20 feet or 6.1 meters and weighing over 1,100 pounds or 500 kilograms, but they don't really pose that much of a threat to humans. Their main encounter with humans seem to be when they're being fished. Otherwise, these sharks mainly keep to themselves. They live solitary lives at incredible depths and generally live separately by sex. However, some do hunt in groups. They mostly feast on juvenile tuna, bluefish, mackerel, cuttlefish, and squid, and generally capture their prey by stunning them with their long tails, which they use as a weapon. Thresher sharks are actually named after their tail, which is long and thresher-like. Their tails can even be as long as their body. They also have short heads, cone-shaped noses, and small mouths with a range of small and large teeth. Amazingly, they are one of the few shark species in the world that can jump entirely out of the water, using their long tail to propel them and performing turns just like dolphins. Number 4. Angel Shark Don't let the name fool you, because there's nothing angel-like about the angel shark. Sure, they aren't all that dangerous to humans, but they certainly aren't the most attractive thing you'll ever see either. They're dangerous to my no uggos rule. They have a variety of unique features that separate them from other sharks. They grow up to about 7 feet or 2.1 meters and can weigh about 77 pounds or 35 kilograms. Angel sharks also have broad and flat bodies, large and horizontal pectoral and pelvic fins, and caudal fins that are longer than their upper lobes, which is unusual for sharks. Many angel sharks are also born with deformities, with some of the more common ones being skeletal deformities, deformed snouts, missing or extra fins, and humpbacks. These sharks live in sandy seabeds at depths of 490 feet or 150 meters and tend to live around Sweden, Norway, the Canary Islands, and Morocco. Some can be found in shallow waters, but many also live down in the dark depths at 4,300 feet or 1,300 meters. 
Even though they aren't likely to attack humans, that doesn't mean they can't. These bottom dwellers can actually inflict painful wounds because they have strong jaws and sharp teeth. If you accidentally or purposefully grab them by the tail or head, they likely will attack, and you're not gonna like how that feels. Number 3. Basking Shark the second largest living shark and fish is the basking shark, an endangered plankton-eating shark species that is pipped to the post of the largest living shark title by the whale shark. Basking sharks can be found in temperate oceans around the world and are filter feeders that move slowly through warm waters. They grow up to 26 feet long and are easily identifiable by their gray-brown mottled skin along with crescent-shaped caudal fins. They have many many teeth, with as many as 100 in a single row, and they use these to catch plankton. That's good news for humans who thought, going by the size of basking sharks, that they would be on the menu. Fortunately, they are harmless to humans and also aren't aggressive. So if you ever come across one alone or in a small shoal, you probably don't have to swim away shaking in fear. For many years, basking sharks have been important in the fisheries industry. They were easy to catch because of their slow swimming speed, and their non-aggressive nature also helped. Commercially, they have many uses. Their flesh is used for fish meal and food, while their hide is removed for leather. Even their liver is valuable for its oil, and their fins are used for shark fin soup. You may even find that cartilage has a sale value, with it being present in traditional Chinese medicine. Number 2. Great White Shark This is probably the moment you've been waiting for. A shark that'll undoubtedly give you nightmares and is easily one of the most terrifying sharks is, of course, the Great White. It's a large, vulnerable mackerel shark that you can find in the coastal surface waters of all the major oceans. They're well known for their size, measuring up to 20 feet and weighing up to 5,000 pounds. Uh, and they can also live up to about 70 years. Ugh, that's a long time to practice the art of killing humans. And we're not even exaggerating. The Great White Shark is responsible for the most shark bite incidents on humans of all shark species. As of 2012, there have been 272 documented unprovoked attacks. From 1990 to 2011, there were 139, and 29 of those were fatal. But what you may not know is that experts don't think Great Whites set out to target or kill humans. Instead, many incidents seem to just be test bites, biting an item to identify what it is. Some researchers also think that they don't like how we taste, and that we're possibly too bony for them to enjoy anyway. Their digestive systems are far too slow to cope with our bone-to-muscle and fat ratio. In most attacks, it was also found that great white sharks bit once, and humans were able to escape after that first bite. Most deaths were from blood loss rather than organ loss or complete consumption. Number 1. Blue Shark You've heard of the great white shark, but what about the great blue shark? This shark is also just called blue shark and lives in deep waters of temperate and tropical oceans. They grow up to 10 feet long, or 3.1 meters, and migrate over long distances each year. According to the IUCN, they are near threatened. We don't know much about blue sharks, but it's believed that they have large litters of sometimes over 100 pups and mostly feed on squid and small fish. Their lifespan's unknown, but it's not uncommon to see them live up to 20 years. Blue sharks are requiem sharks, and they aren't exactly on friendly terms with humans. However, compared to some other sharks, they don't have have the worst record. From 1580 to 2013, there have only been 13 biting incidents. However, in those 13, four people died. Blue shark meat isn't widely sought after, but it is eaten. Some people eat it fresh, dried, smoked, or salted, and it's sometimes used in fish meal. Blue shark skin is also often used for leather, its liver for oil, and its fins for shark fin soup. Their beauty and speed in the water may also make them sought after as game fish. Well, that's my ocean swimming days over. Who would have thought that our oceans were filled with so many different sharks? Have you seen any of these in person? Were there any you hadn't heard of before? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.